Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today I am going to teach you social studies lesson six, shelter for animals. In my first part, part one, I have taught you. This is part two. And in my first part, I have already taught you about the need for animal for the homes and natural and animal-made homes. Today, in this video, I am going to teach you about man-made homes for animals. Some homes are made by man for the animals. Okay? Like humans make homes for some animals as these animals are useful to us. Many animals are there that they are very useful to us. And for that we have to keep them with us and for that we have to make or build a house for them. Okay. So, here when you can turn to page number 33 of lesson 6, you can see that there are some pictures given along with the homes. These are the homes of some animals which are made by humans. The first one is rabbit. Rabbit lives in a hut. Hut is a chota sa, pigla type ka hota, usko banaya jata. That is for rabbit. That is called hut. Horse lives in a stable. Horse kaha rehta hai? Stable me rehta hai. Right? Then hen lives in a coop. Hen kaha rehta hai? They lives in a coop. Cows lives in a shed. Cows. Guys. They are very useful to us. We get milk from them. That's why we keep them in a shed. We make, we build a house or shed for them. Next is dog lives in a kennel. Dogs take care of our house. They guard our house. That's why we keep them in a Next is bird. Bird lives in a cage. We keep some birds in our house and for them we build, build a build cages for them to live in that. So these are the different houses. Rabbit. Where does rabbit live? Rabbit lives in a hut. Okay. Next is horse. So R and T horse lives in a stable. Next is hen. Hen lives in a coop. Then cows. Cows lives in a shed. Okay. Next is dogs. Dogs lives in a kennel. Hello. 
alright? And rest is the question answer. This underline also I will be, uh, I will send you in the textbook through the images and this question answer I will send you from the copy. You can write it in your class for copy. Okay. So I hope I have made you understand about all these three, all these things. I have already taught you about why animals need homes, natural and animal made homes and the last topic was man made homes for animals. So I hope you have understood this lesson very well. So till then students, thank you very much.